Hey, hey, all right, so the, the, the Flash, the Flash is starting up on its sixth season, which means the perfect time to post this so we can get some views. I mean, the perfect time to make this relevant. All right, so I watched the first season and I most went to the second currently. So I'm just going to review what I've seen so far. Now, people always like to talk about how Eobard Thawne was such a great villain, but he kind of wasn't. We never really got his motivation while it was relevant. We only got his motivation in the second season. And only then he the motivation just boils down to him being jealous, which is not is not only a not very well motivation, but it just wasn't didn't come at a relevant time. They never explored it while he was alive. We had to be told this by his past version of himself. I get that they wanted to have that time loop while we're seeing his origin play out right before us, but it's not really relevant nor is it interesting. Now, this is in stark contract with the fact that Zebard Thawne, in my opinion, is probably one of the best characters on this show. He was the most interesting, he had the most backstory to him, and he had a, a great dynamic with the Flash. So when they killed him off and Harrison Wells, Team Flash sort of had this Harrison Wells-shaped holes so that they tried to fill up. They tried to get Harry from Earth too, but he doesn't even quite fit the role perfectly because everyone immediately suspects him at the beginning. And I can only assume that in later installments, they when they kill him off eventually, because I know they will, is that when they try to fill up and this gets progressively worse, that's what the show usually does. Elements come in and they just sort of get worse over time. Ironically, people like to say that Zoom is a retread of Harrison Wells, which he isn't. He's actually, what I think, is a better version. He was more intimidating. So first off, we're upgrading from like a monkey to a Harambe level ape, basically. Then, he has an interesting motivation and personality, and then after all of that, all of the above, they kill him off to become the Black Flash, and then in the next season they freeze him alive, which I only know because I saw a clip of it, and both him becoming the Black Flash and dying in the third season. But what else is about the show? This is a CW drama. They have to have a romance. Well, they have Barry and Iris. When they are adoptive siblings, and congratulations, the show is now unwatchable. I get that you wanted to have a family dynamic, but I didn't really think flash incest was really the way to go about this. Now, they are genetically related, so I guess it's not really incest. But if you can call the same person your father, something seems a little fishy here, doesn't it? This isn't even without mentioning the maroon costume in the first season, which was awful. Once again, it kind of harkens back. I think this is really representation of... The costume is representation of the basic relationship on the show. Not very good, once again. this It's a very bad costume. Bottom line, not a good costume. This is the CW, and like anything we expect from it, it has bad writing, kind of forced drama and all that. It's, it's just really the same CW cocktail... But with any of that, I hope you all enjoyed my opinions. This was generally going to be fun to make, I'm hoping, as recording this. So I hope you all have a good day, and goodbye.